What is up everyone? Welcome back. So today we are going to show you more cool things that you can do in the open source social network. So in the last video, just a quick recap, we actually changed the background. So from looking, you know, with the generic background picture they had, we showed you how to put it to whatever you want. So it's this guy with COVID for us. Okay, next step. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to change your whole theme, right? So maybe you don't like this color up here. You don't like the way this box is laid out. Um, the box where you can put in the information for the person to sign up. So first you look up OSSN themes. Okay. Um, I have a I'll show for you guys. Boom. You go to themes, all components, and you have a list here. So what I can do is I can actually, let's say, the one that I use in my website is Flexi. I think Flexi is really amazing. So I'm going to download Flexi. Or I use the, I use a mix between uh, the blue, the blue theme, the original theme, and Flexi. And so I can teach you guys how to do that. Um, that's a bit more difficult, but we can get into that later. So you download the themes you want. You know, let's say you think Atlas would be cool. I've never actually tried this. Download Atlas. And then you're like, I'm going to try one more theme. So you decide on fake book. Okay, fake book is really literally what it sounds like, a fake Facebook. And so now what we're going to do is you're going to go back to your website. You're going to log in. I hope this is right. Perfect. Okay, then you come down here, you go to Administrator, and then you gotta go back to Themes, and you click Installer. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna choose your files. So, we're gonna start off by uploading, um, we'll go to Downloads, we're gonna Facebook, and Upload. Perfect, and then we're going to choose the next file, and we're going to upload, and then we're going to choose the next file, which is going to be, I think we have it uploaded, let's see, upload that one, and let's look at our themes, boom, we have all three, okay, the first one we're going to try is a Facebook-like theme, you go down, you hit enable, and it'll take a minute, but the next thing you want to do is after it has enabled is you want to go back to the size settings and you want to go to the cache. Now, I'm not sure, actually, it flushes the cache for you, never mind, you're actually all good. It updates it, so let's view the site in a new tab and voila, you see how it looks like Facebook? You know, that's just that's so sick, like to think that something that people put you know, days, weeks, and months of effort in, you can build it like this. Now I know that obviously Facebook is a multi billion dollar corporation and you would not get anywhere close to that with something like this. But it's just cool to have that at your fingertips. It shows you how far that we've come. Okay, so the fake book, then you can go down, you can click Atlas, enable that one real fast. Um, takes a minute. Wow, that is sick. It changes your administrator settings. I told you I've never seen that before. Come back here. Let's refresh. Boom. Okay, this is, this is amazing. This, I think, is something that if you're trying to make something really cool, that would work. And then lastly, we are going to use the Flexi theme. This is a theme that... Actually, I might, actually, I might use Atlas. Atlas looks sick. I think I might do the rest of the tutorial in Atlas, but this is this is what Flexi looks like. Actually, I'm going to stick with Flexi because it's much easier to see. Alright, so now that you guys have seen the themes, you know that you can choose your different theme, uh, which you want to start out with, and this will change a lot of... It doesn't really change much. Like, for example, if I were to log out, the background image would actually be the same, which is a really cool thing because it means that um, actually, no. Oh, no, it wouldn't because I need to go into the folder of the theme and change the background image. But I can just upload the background image file. Okay, so 
actually the what you have to do is you need to go into the flexi theme file so if i go to file manager right, and i go down to themes it should have updated perfect go into flexi go into your images you replace this with the background that you want uh this is what you have to do when you want to make these edits is you want to decide on your theme first which is why i just want to show you guys how to do, change the background image and then i wanted to show you guys this so that you guys didn't try some stuff and then you know want to change the theme etc so this is how you do it i hope you guys change your favicon and everything i explained that in the previous video but another really cool thing that you can actually do with this program is you can install components okay i think components are slept on not a lot of people know about them but i'll show you some of the sick things that you can do with components Go to the Flexi. No, not here. Um, look up open source components. Boom. Mm -hmm. Look up open source. Social network components. All right, there we go. Okay, so beautiful. All right, so first thing, let's say I go here, right? This is, I've never even seen this. Um, you create your own favicon for you. So something like, I don't know, I don't know. But the, the things that I use is first something that was really helpful. If we go into games, like put in games, like they will help when you're getting, well, I'm gonna cover the monetization part of this, right? How to make money. One thing is the amount of time that a person spends on your website increases the chance of visiting it again and that kind of thing you cannot get hurt by putting game right so we go here boom download the latest version okay and you go back to the flexi and then you go back to flexi not there you go back to it needs to be here login I hate that you have to keep logging in and logging out because that part's kind of annoying, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Go to administrator. I've done tweaks a bit. I'll teach you how to edit that. Uh, components. Installer. Upload. Oh no, you gotta choose the file. Tetris game. Upload. Give it boom there we go we are in now now you have to go to the cache flush the cache like perfect so once that has finished you have flushed the cache you go back to your components go here click on components and go all the way down boom you'll see Tetris enable this this can be amazing um, enabled the cache has been flushed and then we go back to our news feed refresh the website and there we go we have tetris i can literally click tetris click the start boom and you just use the arrow keys if you want to try it you can change it's like normal tetris i think i could use more chance do this <laughs> um, it's too much time on that but yeah so that's tetris Right, and then, okay, this is now. How do you exit this? Right, there we go. Okay, so, there's Tetris, as I said, and there's a lot of other components. Um, I'm going to show you guys just, a, I think, one more. You saw that there are two games, so you can name the Mastermind game. Another thing that actually really helped me is if you go to Photos and Images, um the animated gif support because i think that gifs are something that are very popular and that people love to use and so you have to have ossn 5.1 they updated it minimum requirement but once you have that which we do because we just downloaded it download this you do the same thing you go back to your components and you know you enable it and you're set you have the animated GIFs, so that's something that's also really cool. 
That'll be all for this tutorial. I know I showed you guys some overlevel stuff. I just want to bring this to your attention so you guys can mess around a bit too.